There we go. All right, everyone, welcome inside the Castlegar and District Community Complex. My name is Rob Squires. Thanks for joining me here this evening for what will be the first game for the broadcast here uh, on a uh, Thursday evening. We'll have another one uh, tomorrow night, the Wildcats game at uh, 7 o'clock. And then uh, we'll be here all day on Saturday, and we will be here for all the action on Championship Sunday as well, both semifinals and both medal games. Again, we are at the Castle Garden District Complex. We are getting set for the West Cooney Wildcats taking on the Williams Lake Timberwolves. Uh, this is the first game of the day for the Timberwolves, but the Wildcats have already played once this morning. So they're coming second game here today. Uh, first game, they were uh, beaten 5 nothing in that first game. So maybe a little bit of first game jitters here at home, but looking to bounce back and have a big game here um, following the opening ceremonies and to uh, officially kick off the tournament here on the broadcast. So we're about a minute away from puck drop here. I am going to do my best. I have obviously not called either one of these teams uh, before, uh, but we'll see what we can do. I'm uh, looking to my right here at the Timberwolves, and the Timberwolves do have name bars, so that's a bit of a lifesaver for me. The, uh, the Wildcats do not, but we'll see them enough here as we'll call... I think it's four, four of the Wildcats games this tournament, so we'll get to all of the names at some point here. And then, as I mentioned, the, uh, the Timberwolves have name bars, which is always a welcome sight as a broadcaster. Um, the only thing I found is a little more difficult calling the female games as a lot of them have hair coming down the back out of the helmet that tends to cover over the name bar. Um, which is a bit of a problem <laughs> as well. But we'll do the best we can. Hopefully uh, you guys can hear me well. Um, I am able to monitor all of the chat here uh, from the different networks that we're on. We are on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Um, so if you are watching on a smart TV or want to watch on your TV, if you can find it on YouTube, it uh, might be a little easier to do that. Those that are watching them on your phones or uh, on tablets or hooked up your laptop to the television, uh, Awesome. <laughs> it might be a little easier to find YouTube on your smart TV, but uh, no matter which way you're tuning in, I appreciate you joining me here for the call of this game as we are uh, just about ready to get things underway. Uh, we will play, those that are not familiar, we will play three 20-minute stop time periods, and we will have intermissions and ice cleans in between as well as, of course, this is a championship. Of course, we're going to do it right and clean the ice between the periods. So... As you hear the teams with last minute cheers in front of their goaltenders as they'll head to the benches and head to center ice here for the start of the game. We'll switch you over to a little bigger screen instead of catching me. There you go. So again, please do give me some feedback in the chat if things are not working correctly. If you have a something goes wrong with the stream or audio, let me know. We'll make sure we get it out, sorted out as quickly as possible. And uh, it looks like we are just about set here. As I look to my left, starting goaltender for the Wildcats, Kezia Zamek. And to my right for the Timberwolves, it's number 31, Sellers. As we'll get things underway, puck is down, and we are live here from the Castlegar Complex. And it's going to be the Timberwolves first with possession in the neutral zone. Lamb trying to move that one forward in front of the benches. Everybody will come together there, and the puck will just sit between all the feet. Now it'll be pulled out and played to center. Wildcats now try to get it deep. As they get it over the blue line, and they'll just chip that one into the corner is Con Coronet. That's one of the toughest ones on the Wildcats. I apologize if I stumble on that one a few times. As here comes Swanson back the other way for the Timberwolves. Swanson will dump it in. Back for it now is Hutt. Hutt. Circles the net, comes out the other side. Touch pass trying to clear that out, and the Timberwolves will send it right back into the corner. Back for it, Kravsky plays it up the wall, picked up by the Timberwolves. That shot off a stick and up into the netting. We'll get our first whistle here under a minute into the period as the Timberwolves try to force that one towards the front of the net. And again, number four is Con Coronetti. Coronet, sorry, Coronetti. Coronetti. Going to try my best. It's the only double name, I think, on the list tonight, so... Timberwolves off the draw now. Right back to the point. Fumbled on it a bit there. Picks it up. And around the near side wall is Johnson. Johnson tries to play it down the wall. Wildcats will intercept. Play it to the blue line. Trying to keep it in are the Timberwolves. And they will put it into the corner. Back for it now is Miller. Miller will circle the net and has some room to skate. Miller get to the blue line. 
Makes a move there at the red line, and that'll chip that one in, send everybody after it. Back for it first is Porter. Porter gets away from a Wildcat four check there. Still has it, puts it into the far corner and around the wall. Trying to get a piece to it there is Jarawa. Jarawa plays that one out to center. Now Johnson over the blue line, takes a look back to the point. That ricochet off the wall didn't work. Timberwolves, oh, can't keep it in, and Sherlock now. Sherlock goes across to the other D, tried to come back across the middle. That one's picked off nicely there by Hutt. Hutt in over the blue line, has some room down the wall. Hutt will take a shot from there. That one across in front of the net, looked like it go over into the far corner. Timberwolves get it to the blue line, not enough to get it out. The Wildcats will put it back into the side wall. Wildcats now are going to have to chase that back into their own zone, but it's going to go a little too hard, and that'll be an icing call. We'll get a face-off coming back into the Timberwolves zone to the left of the netminder Sellers. We did have the opening ceremonies just before this game. There's still a few of the other teams kicking around, wearing their jerseys, taking in some of this late-night action here, the last game of the day. Timberwolves off the draw, play that one to the point. Kept in, though, down the wall. Con Coronet T. <laughs> Plays that one in, but picked off by the Timberwolves. Out to center. O-line, Katsura. That puck's knocked off her stick. Tim or the Wildcats now. Trying to get it out over the blue line. Can't do it. Swanson's got some room. Swanson, short side, shot, save there. Rebounds loose in the crease, still loose. And the Wildcats able to play it away to center. Off the bench, Kruger. Plays that one through to center. Katsura will find it at the blue line. Wildcats get a stick to it, and they'll play it back to the far zone, and now back to center for Swanson. Swanson will try the other side. Watch there by a couple of Wildcats, and in the corner it's going to be Kravsky. Kravsky plays that one. Nice pass near side. A little bit of room there for Con Cornet. Not enough to skate away with it. Kruger stumbles a bit there and just plays it in behind the goal. Wildcats looking to play that one out now. Get it to the blue line and out. Skating through center with it. More set. She'll just dump it in, go for a tra change. And a fresh line here for the Wildcats comes out. Timberwolves around the wall. Picked off there by Huff. Just below us now. Back to the defense. D to D as Nash plays it across. Up to center. Timberwolves will pick that one off. They'll try to go back the other way. Trying to find it there. Passery. Passery loses it at the blue line. The Wildcats there will play it back to center. Now the Timberwolves. D to D. Escott plays that one forward. Picked off there by the Wildcats at center. Here comes Huff. Huff between four Timberwolves. Can't make a play and just puts it into the corner. Wildcats play that one to center, but or to, to the middle of the ice, sorry, and picked off. Long lead pass there. It's going to miss. That was Fofanoff up at the blue line trying to knock that one down, but it's going to be missed and go the length of the ice for icing. We'll come back to the other end for a faceoff once again to the left of Sellers. Scramble draw there. Wildcats come in and get it. Back to the point. That shot looking for a tip as Miller put that one on towards the front of the net. Herberger will play that one forward. Porter plays that one in. Now the Wildcats will go back for it. In the corner, Miller. Miller will go out the far side. Plays that one forward for Robson. Robson chips that one out to center. Timberwolves, though, find it in their zone. Able to play it back out. Wildcats have to touch up. In to pick that one up. Sherlock now plays that one in over the blue line and back forward for the Wildcats. Kravsky, she'll skate it behind the goal. Takes a look, plays that one to the near side wall just a little too far. Timberwolves kept it in for a second and the Wildcats were able to get it out to center just below us here. Timberwolves play it to center. Swanson now tried to go off the wall and jump around the check there, but not able to do it. The Timberwolves, though, still under control. Harry, she'll play it down the wall. Leaves it there for Swanson, following it up. Plays out and takes a ricochet to the front of the net, and the Wildcats play it to the corner. Swanson on it now in behind the goal. Tied up there by Morissette. Has scrambled play against the wall. Now gets played to the blue line. Tipped out there by Robinson, and the Timberwolves are back for it. They'll quickly play it up, looking for Swanson. She'll miss that. And now the Wildcats... Kravsky trying to play that one deep. Now she'll find it right at the blue line. Has a second to play it. In over the blue line now. Knocked down back on her knees trying to make a play. Was Con Cor Coronet. 
She can't get that one on goal, and the Timberwolves are going to clear that one out as the Wildcats had a good opportunity there if she could have been able to get onto her feet and put that one on goal. Now with speed, Shreves out of her own zone, skating well through center, makes a play to the middle of the ice, still has it. Now she'll go into the back wall, pucks in between her feet there. She can't find it, and the Timberwolves will play it around to the far corner. Herperger plays that one forward. Johnson has it in front of the Timberwolves bench. She'll try to play that one up, taken away again by the Wildcats and dumped in by Hutt. Back for it is Kruger. Kruger takes a look way up ice, tried to find someone streaking through the middle, but there was nobody there, and that one will go the length of the ice and come back for icing once again. Looks like we're going to go to the little... To our right, to the left of the goaltender once again for another draw. This time out for it is Hutt for the Wildcats. As they'll get their late last change in, someone heading off. Clean draw there to the wall, trying to play it back to the point. The Timberwolves able to jump in and chip that one out, but again, might be a little too much, and it will go the length for icing, and we'll do that one all over again. Thirteen forty-two to go here in the first period. Still no score. Haley Hutt on the draw here for the Wildcats. Looks to be foffing off for the Timberwolves. Puck comes to the front of the net. Wildcats can't get a stick to it. Now they will. In front of the net there was Huff. She couldn't get a shot on goal. Timberwolves played it to the wall. Now they try to dig it off. There's Hutt. She'll take a shot. That one just goes wide. Now back for it. Herberger trying to go up the wall. She'll get some help. They'll get it to the blue line and out. Here come the Timberwolves. Three of them over the blue line. Three on one. Shot off the glove. And in behind the net, Timberwolves looking for a rebound. As Zamek got a glove on that but wasn't able to hold on to it. Now Timberwolves play it out front. Quick shot there. Just goes wide. Fofanoff not able to put that one on target. That one off a of foot right to Lee. And she'll backhand that one up the middle of the ice and the Timberwolves are going to pick that one off. Into the corner. Wildcats scrambling for it now. They'll have some room on the near side. To the blue line. Not out. Porter tried to play it down the wall and she's going to lose it there. Huff is going to get it. She'll get it just to center but no farther. As Porter and Swanson for the Timberwolves are there. McMartin now on the far wall. Plays it into the corner. Wildcats looking for it in behind the goal. Play it up the wall for Huff. Huff plays that one forward. Eamon now, she'll play that one in behind the defense and now to try to skate after it. Timberwolves though, nice outlet play there up the wall. And they're going to get it out over the blue line into center. Katsura over the blue line now and just offside as she made a move trying to go wide. On the far side is one of the Timberwolves players just a step in too quickly. That faceoff will come into the neutral zone here. 12-12 on the clock right now. First period. Swanson on the draw now against Drake for the Wildcats. Timberwolves win that one. Almost picked off there. Now they'll get it at the near side here. Katsura this time onside. Katsura looking to the middle. Lost control of that puck though. Swanson tries to play it in deep. Harry steps down. She'll play it on the wall into the pile. A couple more Wildcats come in to help out. The Timberwolves though able to get it to Katsura again down at the half wall. She'll skate it into the corner and around behind the net. Katsura takes a look out front. No one there. She'll just put it back into the corner. Send McMartin for it. McMartin tied up there. Puck's just against the wall. Now McMartin moving it forward. Plays it out. Katsura quickly in. She'll play it loose. Now there's a shot. Turn fire and a save there by Zamek. As the Timberwolves dug that one out of the corner and quickly put one on net. And Zamek tested there. Able to hold on to it and provide no rebound with the Timberwolves looking for it. Face off now to the left of Zamek. It's one back to the point here by the Timberwolves. Their shot gloved once again as Zamek will hold on to that one. As this time she's able to get the glove out and get the puck in there and hold on to it. On the draw here, Morissette for the Wildcats. She'll win it back. Spinning away from the pile there is Morrison. She'll skate out the near side, up the wall, off the referee. As they were looking for a quick out there, it's in the referee's feet. Now they'll play it towards the blue line. 
Timberwolves, though. Play it now. Kruger, her shot high and just over the top of the net. Looking for it on the far wall now. Johnson, nice move there. She finds a little space in behind the goal line. Wildcats, though, will pick that one off and play it up the near side wall. Kruger just steals that one away from Con Coronet and puts it back into Cornet T, sorry, and plays that one back in. Now the Wildcats get it out to center, and the Timberwolves, though, steal it away. Near side, Kruger. Room to skate now. Kruger with speed in over the blue line. Shot from the wall. Kicked aside there by Zamek. Now Kruger plays it out front. Passery there. She tried to find a Timberwolf out front. Now the Wildcats with some room to skate. Out through center. Con Cornetti. Cornetti on the backhand. Shot saved there by Sellers. Pucks at the side of the net, but the Timberwolves are able to clear it. And Passery will play that one forward out to center. Shreves. Back along the wall there, picked off, and here come the Timberwolves. In over the, in over the line is Johnson. Lost there, and the Wildcats out to center. Escott can't make a play. That puck will end up back into the corner. Back for it now is Porter. Porter around her own net. Watch there closely by Hutt. Those two will continue to battle, but she'll spin away and find some room up the wall. Now nicely out to center. Lee trying to find it now. Down the wall. Looks out front, can't get the puck there. Wildcats steal it away, again off the ref's foot. Another opportunity there. Wildcats though able to get to it. Huff gets it to the blue line, not out. Fafanoff plays it right back into the corner. Now Escott off her foot and out. Into the far corner, Wildcats, Huff first one to get there. She tried to play it back to the blue line. A misplay there by the Timberwolves does get back and then played to the center of the ice where Reamer now play it back out front. That one off a foot and just wide as Sellers had to be careful there as that puck hit a foot and slid just past the post. Now that outlet pass on the near side here is going to miss everybody. It's going to hit the foot, though, of Zamek, so no icing there, and the Wildcats back for it. Under nine to go here in the first period, still waiting our first goal. Katsura at center. Onside, Katsura. Down the wall, puck gets knocked away. Harry keeps it in. Back down for Katsura. She'll try to put it back into the corner. Send McMurray for it. Sorry, McMartin. She'll play it up front. Shot and a save by Zamek. As Swanson able to put that one on. And a toe save by Zamek. Katsura now around behind the goal. Back into the corner. Timberwolves, some good puck movement there. McMartin now back to the point. That long wrister saves Zamek, rebounds loose. Wildcats play it to the corner. McMartin again in the corner. Knocked off her stick, comes up the wall, back to the blue line. And we've got a whistle here as looks like the, yeah, ref's going to give the call as Zamek strap popped off on the mask there. So ref blows that one down, gives the goaltender a chance to fix her mask. As the Timberwolves with some good pressure there. On the draw here for the Timberwolves. Johnson up against Morissette for the Wildcats. As Kezia Zamek seems to have her helmet all sorted out. Pucks down, we're back underway. Timberwolves again back to the point. Harry plays that one to the wall. Here comes the shot. That one hit the crowd in front, goes to the side. Timberwolves behind the net now. Passery. Looks out front, all the way back to the point now. That's Jahardi. Jahardi shot. Zamek has to play that one off to the side. Rebound. Swung and missed there. Pucks right in front of the net, and the Wildcats will play it to the side. Con Corrente plays that one forward. Kruger back for it now. Morissette takes a bit of a spill there in the offensive zone. The Timberwolves out the other side. Johnson on the back end. Morissette picks that one off. And now the Timberwolves up for Passery. Off her foot. Kravsky will find it. She'll play that one back to the wall. And three Timberwolves there looking for it. Wildcats get it to the blue line. Now they'll get it out. But it's going to be Passery picking it up in the neutral zone and right back in. Wide around the defender. Passery shot that one off a leg and goes in behind the net. And off the glass to the near side wall. Passery. Can't settle that one down. The Wildcats will get it out to center. 
where Kruger will settle it now. Kruger, D to D, Lamb plays that one forward. Now Sherlock, Sherlock around the defense, takes a look, nothing on the short side, and a nice play there by Lee as she'll steal that one away and play it back to the point. Off the bench, shot knocked down up high as right off the bench was Porter, it looked like, trying to put that one on net. Now Sherlock plays it out front onto the backhand now as the Timberwolves, or sorry, the Timberwolves play it out to the front of the net. That shot goes wide by Lamb, and the Wildcats now will just ring it around the boards. Kept in here in the near side by Porter. Up into the air and comes out to center now as the Wildcats will get a chance to skate away with it. Here comes Huff. Huff along the half wall, waiting for some help. Wildcats are changing, so there's only two, two on five out there, but here comes the backup. As off the bench, the Wildcats come in on the forecheck, but can't settle that puck, and the Timberwolves will get it out to center. Porter from her own side of center. That one got a tip, so no icing there. And back for it now is Miller. Miller around the wall. Kept in there by Porter. Now McMartin to the center of the ice. Can't find that puck. It's lost in the feet of Eamon. Now off the bench, Katsura with speed. Gets it out in front. Nice stick check there by Zamek, keeping that one out of the danger area. Now the Wildcats trying to get that one out, and they will out to center where Porter will set it for the Timberwolves. 5.30 to go here, first period, and the Timberwolves are right back in. Swanson into the corner, out in front, and Katsura, Ka, sorry, Katsura couldn't get a stick on that one. Wildcats will get it out, but just barely. This time, though, they'll try to play that one forward, and it's going to go the length of the ice for icing against the Wildcats this time. We'll go back into the Wildcat zone for a face-off. Looks to be to the left of Zamek. 5.15 to go. First period. Wildcats, Timberwolves here at the U15 Female Championships. Wildcats needed a big bounce back game here after a 5-0 loss earlier today. Katsura off the draw. Swanson now back for Katsura. Tried to go short side. Knocked away by the Wildcats into the corner. And now with some space to skate it out is Morissette. Morissette gets it to center but no further. And Swanson turns it right back the other way. Swanson now for the Timberwolves. Plays it right to the back door. And a nice save there by Zamek. As that play took just a little too long to develop. And Zamek able to come back to her left and make the save. As Katsura was going to that back post looking for a tip in. set again on the draw here for the Wildcats. They'll win it by that clearing attempt. Knocked down there by the Timberwolves and now in behind the Wildcat zone. Around the wall. Again, hit the official in the foot. Puck sitting in the corner. Wildcats now skating it out. Con Cornetti plays that one to center. Morissette looking for it. Timberwolves can't settle it though. Wildcats trying to go back the other way and it's stolen once again. Little scramble play here in the neutral zone until the Wildcats Morissette will just play that one in. They'll go for a change, and the Timberwolves now will go back for it. Out to center, knocked down by the Wildcats, and they'll push that one back forward. And now Hutt chips it in, trying to chase after it. Back forward first, Gerhardi. Now forward, Timberwolves down the wall, Johnson. On the backhand, takes a look. Now she'll play it on the backhand all the way back to the point. Lamb, shot. That one goes wide off the boards and into the corner. Now around the near side wall. Wildcats quickly out through center. Huff plays that one across. Trying to get a shot there, but going down on a nice back check. Reamer not able to get that shot away as the Timberwolves got back quickly. And they'll play it forward now. Passery trying to slip through two Wildcats. They're going to touch that puck, and we are going to get our first penalty here of the game as it looks like it'll be a tripping call to number 22. That's Kravsky. As she'll go to the box for the first penalty of the game here. Now, I am doing in-house PA announcing as well, so I'll have to step aside here for the call of that. But I'll be right back. All 
All right, first power play of the evening goes to the Timberwolves. They're going to start that back in their own zone here. Plays that one forward just out of the reach of Swanson there. That'll go just enough for icing as the Wildcats did their best to try to skate as slow as possible there but make it look like they're working really hard to go back for that one. And that icing call will come all the way back in the power play here for the Timberwolves. will have to go 200 feet. Wildcats win that draw. Back to the point. Fanned on the shot, though. Timberwolves trying to step through. They're able to get it to center, and there's a stick scut stuck through the skate of one of the Timberwolves players. Here's the Wildcats player tries to get it out. So we're going to play a little four on three while those two get it sorted. Now they'll make their way up the ice. Wildcats, though, will get that one out to center. And with under a minute to go, the Timberwolves now will have to go back into their own zone here in this power play. 2.20 to go in the period as the Timberwolves quickly all the way out to center. Jahardi, Jahardi shot, blocker save there. That one off the glass and lands in the corner now. Fafanov kept it in for a second, but the Wildcats able to find the spot right up the middle. And now 35 seconds to go here in the power play for the Timberwolves. Jahardi across there to Swanson. Swanson through center. She'll protect that puck, takes it into the corner on the backhand, looks out front. Nobody there. She still has it now on the backhand, leaves it there for Harry. Harry fanned on that pass. The Wildcats able to get it to the blue line and out as that one's fired down the ice by Morissette. And with five seconds to go, that should do it for the power play here as the Timberwolves try to make their way up, but it's turned back by the Wildcats. Penalty over. 0 for 1 on the power play are the Timberwolves, and the Wildcats back to even strength now. Porter plays that one across. Harry, right in front of the bench, comes together with the sticks there with Hutt, and that one will go up into the bench for a faceoff. 1.15 left here in the period. Bit of a quick drop there as the Timberwolves didn't have all their players yet back on the ice, but they dropped it anyway. Pucks at center now. That one skips past the Timberwolves defenseman there, and Hutt now plays it forward. Huff, shot, great save there by the Timberwolves netminder Sellers as the Wildcats get their best scoring opportunity with just a minute left here in the period. Timberwolves, they'll get a shot on. Zamek will play that one to the wall. Into the net goes one of the Timberwolves players. Looks like everybody's okay, back to their feet. 40 seconds to go here in the period. And the Timberwolves now, Lamb back into her own zone. Watch there by Huff. Chased out the near side, playing it to the wall. Timberwolves will just play that one out to center as Kruger just dumped it out. The Wildcats now with 20 seconds to go. Can't get a stick to that puck. Kruger's just gonna hang back, go for another loop here. Now plays that one forward. Passery, Passery with a, with a move at the high slot. Can't get into a shooting position. 10 seconds to go here. Passery turns, fires that one across. Right through the crease, no one there. And the Wildcats now able to get it out to center. And that's gonna do it here as they're gonna run out of time at the end of the first period. Still no score between the West Kootenai Wildcats and the Williams Lake Timberwolves. And a good back and forth period there. Not a lot of great scoring chances, maybe one at each end. And the goaltenders up to the task, keeping this one knotted at zeros as the girls will head to the dressing rooms, talk things over, and get set for second period action. We'll take a break here on the broadcast. And if everything works well, we'll have a countdown timer to the start of the second period for you. You're watching U15 Female Championship Hockey here live from Castlegar on the Around the Rink Network. Thanks for watching. Please chime in in the comments. Let me know how everything's going, if the stream's working well. We look to have about, mm, quick math in my head, maybe 60-ish people, a little over 60 people watching right now across the network. So appreciate everybody tuning in. And uh, just a reminder, we'll have one game here on the Around the Rink Network tomorrow night. The Wildcats in action once again as I will be able to make that one. Apologize not being able to make more of the games, but unfortunately my day job kind of took over that. But uh, tomorrow night we will have the West Cooney Wildcats and the Richmond Ravens at 7 o'clock here on the network. And then Saturday 
me and my son, just so you know, my son Jackson here is running the camera for you. And uh, we're going to be here bright and early Saturday morning. Probably we'll get here about 6 o'clock for that 7 o'clock puck drop um, for the Oceanside Impact versus the Northeast Predators. And we will do six games all day Saturday, finishing up with, again, another Wildcats game, 7.30 against that same Oceanside Impact. So they're going to they're gonna open and close the day just like we are, but I'm betting they're going to get a little bit of a break in between. But we're going to stay here and bring you all the action from Castlegar. And then Sunday morning we'll have the two semifinals. Then we'll have a bit of a break in the afternoon, and then we'll be back for the bronze and gold medal game later in the evening. So lots of great action coming up here on the Around the Rink Network. But after 20 minutes here, West Cooney Wildcats, Williams Lake, Timberwolves, still no score. You're watching U15 Championship Hockey here from Castlegar.
we'll bring you back inside the Castlegar complex here for second period action. West Kootenai Wildcats, Williams Lake Timberwolves. No score after the first 20. We're already underway here as the Timberwolves will try to get things started on fresh ice back into the Wildcats zone. Playing it in behind the net, behind low, below the goal line now. McMartin can't find it. The Wildcats now will, and they'll play it up the wall and out over the blue line to center. And now they'll keep pushing that up the wall, getting it all the way inside the blue line, and a chance here. More set on the backhand. That one, it's loose puck there. Just wide as the Wildcats had an opportunity on that far side as Morissette put that puck on net and Huff just missed putting that one in on the far side corner. Now Wildcats looking for that puck in the corner, battling there with a couple of the Timberwolves. Refs making them play. Now that puck will come loose and they'll play it around behind the goal. Far corner, McMartin looking for it. She'll get stopped there. Some help co comes for the Timberwolves. They'll play it out now nicely to center. Skating away with it now. In over the blue line. Katsura on the backhand goes around the net. She's waiting for help as the Timberwolves all change. Johnson now off the wall nicely. Shot short side save. Loose puck for a moment there. The Wildcats cleared away up the near side wall. Escott at the blue line. Plays it right back into the corner. But the Wildcats there. Can't get it out again as Escott fires it back into the net, in behind the, uh, the net there for the Wildcats to chase after. And now Hutt gets it to center. Loses it there in front of the Timberwolves bench and she just plays that one forward. Timberwolves near side Johnson, a little too hot for her to settle. And now back forward are the Wildcats. Miller into the corner, plays that one up, chipped to the blue line, kept in nicely there by the Timberwolves Porter and they'll have an opportunity here. Into the corner goes Sherlock, around the net. Takes a look back to the point. Tip there, Fafna up, back to Porter. That one kicked aside by Zamek, and the Timberwolves will find it in the corner. Down below the goal line now. Passery couldn't settle it. Comes around, Wildcats try to chip that one out. Kept in again by Escott, doing a great job on this right side point, sealing that off, keeping that puck in. Now the Timberwolves, back to the point now, Johnson. She'll play it back between the defense there as Porter and Escott got kind of caught in no man's land there and that puck went right between the two of them. Wildcats in on the offside. They're gonna let that one play and they're gonna play it quickly up. Timberwolves shot from the wall, knocked down by Zamek. Loose puck and played away, all the way back to the blue line. Misfired there. Kruger can't play it, plays it now to Lamb. Lamb can't get to it. Timberwolves able to keep it in just for a moment, but now Lamb's gotta go back in. Played right back out by the Wildcats, and Katsur on the four side is just a little bit offside there in front of the Timberwolves bench. Draw goes to the wall now. Wildcats play it forward. That one off a stick, and the first save by the backup goaltender on the Wildcats bench, as I believe that's Dowell, makes the save there as that puck goes out of play. And puck's down, we're back on our way. Quick pass there over for the Timberwolves, and quickly they're moving it forward. A little too far there for McMartin. She'll have to chase after it, but not going to get there in time, and we will get icing going back the other way. 16.50 to go here in the second period. Still looking for that first goal of the game. Wildcats came close here in the early moments here of the period. And now they get an opportunity here in offensive zone faceoff. More set on the draw. Plays that one to the center of the ice. Katsura now skates away with it. McMartin's with her. McMartin's going to go to the front of the net. Katsura into the corner. Katsura can't play that puck out front. Is a nice job there by the Wildcats. Uh, Jarrah Jarrah Roy, Jarrah Roy Waugh, sorry, Jarrah Waugh. That's what it is, Jarrah Waugh. I checked with him before, but then I got confused. <laughs> and that one will off a stick and into the bench as we'll get another face off here. It's a bit of a slow start to this one with a bunch of whistles.
Face off in the Wildcat zone. Timberwolves headed for a second there, but a nice job by the Wildcats to kick that one away and find it in their feet, and they'll play it to the wall. Well, Timberwolves right back out front. Wildcats clear that one aside, out of trouble. Looking for it there is Herberger. And the Wildcats now play it up the wall in front of the Timberwolves bench. A little too hard on the touch there, trying to push that one forward, but they're going to say no icing, so in for it now. Loose puck, high slot, turn shot there by Hutt, and she can't get the shot on goal. And she was running at a time quickly. Timberwolves play it for forward into the Wildcat zone. The Wildcats pick it up just inside the blue line. Play that one forward. In over the blue line is Huff. She'll play it to the slot. Nice touch pass there, side shot. That one up over the top of the net and wide as Hutt fired that one. Now back to the front end. Hutt again, shot again over the top of the net. She's got to dial in that range. She's getting the opportunity, just can't put the puck on the net. Around the far side, kept in there for the moment by the Wildcats. Timberwolves back to the blue line and again stop for a moment. But the Timberwolves will get it out to center. All the way into the Wildcat zone and back for it now is Miller. Erica Miller around behind the goal, plays that one forward. Reamer gets a stick to it, plays it forward now Hutt. Hutt over the red line, watch there by Porter. Hutt will just put that one into the corner and around the wall, chasing after it now. Nash, Nash, sorry that's not Nash, that's Huff. She loses it though, back around the other way. Passery, Passery shot and a save there by Zamek, she kicks it to the corner. Timberwolves player gets knocked down, puck around the wall and into the near side corner. Wildcats there first, get it to the blue line. Kruger, long shot, wide, ricochets out the other side, looking for it there now. Jarawa, Jarawa plays it back to the point. Porter settles it, puts it right back into the corner, jumps over a stick, and the Wildcats should get there first as Shreves does, plays it again back over into the corner. Hutt looking for it. Krabsky comes in to help, puck makes its way back to the blue line, but kept in again. Now the Wildcats will get it out to center, and back for it now is Kruger. Kruger watched closely there by Robinson. Kruger will just set up behind her net. Now she'll play it up the wall, and just a little too hot there was that lead pass, and that will go the length of the ice for icing as Jarawa was not able to knock it down. And the second period continues to be a bit of a slow, and we're still 13.54 to go. Just over six minutes here into the period. Been a lot of whistles here so far. Timberwolves push that one forward and jumping right through for it now is Swanson. Swanson with speed below the, the camera here. Plays that one in, back for it now are the Wildcats and Miller. Miller up the wall. Robinson gets that one out to center and a nice job there by the Timberwolves Lamb as she tied up her check. McMartin looking for it along the wall. Puck squirts loose to the blue line, kept in. Timberwolves just play it to the front of the net. Now cleared away to the corner by the Wildcats. McMartin looking for it in the corner. Wildcats out in front. Katsura can't settle it to get the shot away. Now she'll play it back to the point. Kruger takes the long slapper, saved by Zamek and quickly puts the glove on and holds onto it as Timberwolves go down in front of the net, looking for a rebound. Zamek though able to find that rebound quickly and get the glove down, take it away. Bit of a late change there by the Timberwolves, but pucks down and the Wildcats trying to skate away with it, but kept in again at the blue line. Sherlock. Gets it into the corner. You're in that very hard to see corner. I apologize to our players down there, but that netting is really in the way and there's nothing I can do about it right now. Maybe we can look at pulling it back for tomorrow, but it does look like it's already tied back pretty good. Puck's just below it and here come the Wildcats in over the blue line, two on one. Wines fires that one off the goaltender up into the air. And it looks like they are gonna call it as it went up into the netting as the Wildcats quickly in over the blue line there. It looked like it was Jones, I believe. Now, more set on the draw here. Timberwolves again with that late change here. 
Not going to let it happen this time. As the ref's going to call that player back to the ice. As they got away with it just a moment ago, but this time not going to let it happen as the official gets the player back under the ice as Fafanoff will have to return. Pucks down. Wildcats trying to get a stick to it. They do just to the front of the net. A nice save there by Sellers as she kicked that one aside right off the draw. Wildcats to it. Played into the corner. Morissette looking for it. Can't find it. Timberwolves. Pinched off there along the wall, just tied up, and the puck's up against the dasher there. Puck's loose, just can't dig it out. Now they do, back to the point. Long shot, that one makes its way all the way through and saved there by Sellers. And a couple of extra digs there by Morissette looking for a rebound as that puck was loose just for a moment on that long shot that made its way through the crowd from the blue line. Face off again, the offensive zone here for the Wildcats. Timberwolves, they'll win that draw, quickly rip it around the boards, but kept in nicely there by the Wildcats. As Miller, she'll play it across. Looking for it now is Huff. Huff plays it in behind the net. One against two there, and the Timberwolves are going to come away with it as they outnumber the Wildcats in the corner. Now they'll play it forward. Johnson trying to get to the middle of the ice. She'll get in the shooting position there. Now on the backhand, tried to slide that one through. Might have done well just to put that one on net from that strong shooting position. Now the Wildcats trying to push that one out over the blue line. And they'll get it as a lucky bounce up over the stick of Johnson there. Wildcats knock that one down. And that one's going to come in offside as the Timberwolves not able to check up. We are still 11-27 to go here, second period. And a tight game here between the Timberwolves and the Wildcats. Timberwolves will win the draw now. Porter pushes that one into the Wildcats zone. She's going to chase after it herself. Porter takes a look. She'll find a player coming off the bench. That one goes over her stick, though, to Escott. Escott into the corner for Johnson. Johnson spins away from the check now. Now trying to sneak in behind the goal. Still has that puck. Now looks out front. Nobody there. Plays it back to the point for Porter. Porter. All she can do is play it down the wall. Now Johnson with room in the high slot. Johnson moves in, shot, and that one off a stick and just goes wide. Timberwolves, though, find it in the corner. Katsura behind the net to Swanson. Swanson, watched there by a couple, plays it out off the side of the net. Zamek gets a stick on. Now she'll find it with the glove in the blue paint. And some more pushing and shoving in front of the net as the Timberwolves looking for a loose puck. And the Wildcats not too happy about the sticks finding their way onto Zamek. Defensive zone draw now. Swanson up against Morissette for the Wildcats. Faceoff scramble win there. That one came out in front of the net. Wildcats play it to the wall. Katsura on her backhand plays that one around behind the net, chasing after it now. Wildcats will get there first. And Con Cornet T <laughs> plays that one forward all the way down. Wildcats onto it. Shot and scores! Looked like Morissette with the shot. Gets the opener here in the second period. We'll see who they give the assist to, but it looked like eight put that one in the back of the net as the Wildcats punch through with the first goal of the game here at 10-24, the first or second period.
Wildcats break through one nothing. Just under 10 minutes to go here in the second period. And here come the Timberwolves now, trying to even things up. Johnson plays it in nicely. She'll go around the net, looks out front, now back to the point. Watch there closely, she'll play it back into the corner. Passery looking for it, taken away from her. As Shreves now, Shreves up the wall. Wildcats right to the blue line, and again, this Timberwolves, job, Tim, Timberwolves team has done a great job of sealing off the blue line, keeping pucks in, forcing the Wildcats second, third, fourth attempts, trying to clear the puck. And this time they do, but a little too hard, and it's another icing call as they're not able to make a play and just fire that one down the ice, and the Timberwolves will get an offensive zone faceoff here with 9.15 to go in the second period. Timberwolves with a shot there off a stick, went up and in, into, they're going to say into the netting. It's kind of hard to see where the netting and the glass split there. They're going to say that hit the netting just above the glass in the corner. And we'll do this draw once again. And we're going to do it a third time because the Wildcats player is going to get tossed out here, it looks like. Swanson on the draw for the Timberwolves. And it looks like it was Concy for the Wildcats there. That puck's right in the blue paint there. The Timberwolves trying to find it. Wildcats play it away, but Timberwolves will find it. Katsura in the corner. Plays that one to the faceoff dot. That shot goes wide. Wildcats looking to get there first. Kravsky. She'll just pinch that one up against the wall. Watch there by McMartin. She'll get a little help. Timberwolves, though, able to play it back to the blue line. Escott, her shot goes wide off the backboard to the far side wall. Wildcats get there first, not able to play it forward, and again, kept in at the blue line and fired back in behind the net. Kravsky turns away from the check, plays it into the corner. Swanson now for the Timberwolves. Stolen away there by the Wildcats and up the wall and they'll play it out again, but we'll see if that one's got enough as it's slowing down, but on the relatively fresh ice is still going to go too far as there's been a lot of play down low in both zones. That's where the ice is kind of beat up. The middle of the ice is all pretty clean and we still got 8.06 to go here in the period. Pucks one back to the blue line there. Now back into the behind the goal. There for it for the Wildcats. Shreves, she'll play it up the wall. Lamb trying to keep that one in. She's not able to do it as the Wildcats now get it out to center. And a nice tra play there by Reamer, able to get it in over the blue line, but no further as the Timberwolves play it right back out to center. Loose puck there at center, picked up by the Timberwolves. Knocked off their stick just inside the blue line in there. Going to be offside at the Wildcats blue line once again. 7.37 to go here now, second period. Fofanoff on the draw here, up against Morissette. Timberwolves win the draw. Harperger down the wall, leaves it there. Sherlock, Sherlock in the corner with it. Spins away from the check nicely. Fofanoff comes in to help out. Puck comes loose. Harperger now with room in behind the net. Looks out front, plays it back to the point, just out of the reach of Kruger. She's got to be careful. Here come the Wildcats. Trying to skate away with a con Cornetti. She gets tripped up. And it looks like we're going to have another call here against the, or another call here, but this one going against the Timberwolves as it's going to be number eight going off for, I think the symbol or signal was hooking as it is number eight for hooking. And the Wildcats will get their first power play here. Wildcats now to the power play. Off the draw, they have possession and will settle it along the wall. Shot from there, off a of body. That one was tough to handle there by the goaltender. 
But Sellers able to play it into the corner. Wildcats trying to maintain possession. They will. They'll get it back to the point. D to D there off a stick of the Timberwolves and out to center. And Morissette now back forward here at center. That one off a stick in front of the Timberwolves bench as Jones not able to keep that one in play. And it just missed the coach working the gate over there in the Timberwolves bench. And that faceoff will come just outside the Wildcats blue line here. 128 to go on the power play. Wildcats win that one, jump right through with it. And it's going to be Kong C now. She'll play it down the wall, picked off there by the Timberwolves, hit a body, right back to the Timberwolves player again, and she'll fire it down the ice as on the second attempt there, Gerhardi get able to get it down the ice. Timberwolves get to it first. Wildcats, Morissette comes back for it. She'll pick it up, tries to play that one all the way out to center, and she finds someone at the blue line. That's Consi. Consi watched there by Escott. Escott will just push the puck, push her away and take that puck and play it around the wall. Ref's got to get out of the way as five players come together in the, in the, by the hash marks there. Now the Wildcats look to set up. Morissette plays that one. Kravsky, Kravsky. Plays it over to Shreves. Shreves back to Kravsky. He's got to be careful. Good uh, aggressive forecheck here, or uh, penalty kill, I should say, by the Timberwolves. Morissette gets there, plays it down into the corner. Con Cornetti back to the point. Kravsky, her shot tipped down in front. Loose puck played away by the Timberwolves. And Johnson's going to skate away with it over the blue line with 20 seconds to go left in the penalty to the Timberwolves. Johnson onside, all the way into the corner. Her shot up over the top of the net. Now on to the ice is Sherlock. Sherlock. Or sorry, Swanson. Got Swanson, 22. Wildcats at center, trying to settle it. Penalty is over. Wildcats now 0 for 1 on their power play for this game. And the Timberwolves offside in front of the bench as Lamb was inside before the puck came over the blue line. And five minutes to go here, second period. And we've got our first goal of the game as the Wildcats struck first. As it was Maya Morissette with the first goal of the game here. And the first goal of the tournament for the Wildcats, as, as I mentioned earlier, they dropped their first game 5 nothing, but able to get one here and are leading with just five, under five minutes to go here in the second period. Wildcats play that one in. Jahardi back for it first for the Timberwolves. Watched there by a couple of Wildcats. They're going to try to turn that one over. Timberwolves smartly just play it to the wall and slow things down. Now that puck comes off the wall to the center of the ice. Wildcats get to it first, but no one there except for Timberwolves. Timberwolves over the red line. And on the far side, as a couple of players got mixed up there, they went in offside as it looked like Huff and I think it was yeah Swanson got tangled up there and ended up putting that play offside at the blue line in front of the Timberwolves bench. McMartin over the blue line. This time they stay onside, put it into the corner. Wildcats get to it first, play it up the wall. That puck off a stick, and the Timberwolves able to find it. Just for a moment, though, Wildcats now play that one out. Erica Robinson down the wall, trying to play that one out in front. She's watched there by Porter, and she'll just steal that puck away. Nice move there, coming out of her own zone around two Wildcats as Porter skates well now. Porter through center. Onside, right through the defense. That one just a little too far. Slid in on Zamek. She went in hard with that poke check. Hoping that Zamek was going to fumble that puck just a little bit. As the smooth skating Porter just went end to end there and almost got a good scoring opportunity. Wildcats with possession now around the back wall, near side hash wall, and they'll get it out to center. Back for it now, Porter again. Checked this time by Morissette. She'll knock her off the puck, and the Wildcats jump through center for it. Trying to steal that one away with Shreves, trying to go, go right through the middle. She's going to find her way back to her defensive position there at the blue line. Wildcats trying to keep it in. They'll get it down the wall. Now it's Jones. She'll lose it there in the corner, and the Timberwolves will try to go out the other side. Kravsky gets there first, plays it down, but the 
Timberwolves again back out to center. More set back for Kravsky. Near side now, Shreves. Quickly forward, and that, that time for Jones, just out of her reach, and the Timberwolves will find it in their own zone. Good four check there, but plenty of Timberwolves back to help out. Cats in the corner now, looking for it. Wildcats played out in front. Nobody home, and the Timberwolves will collect that one and head the other way. Harperger down the wall. Has to try to chip that one around. Can't get in, but Fafanov follows it up. Her shot, gloved down there by Zamek as that one was trying to go short side over the glove, but she finds that one and holds on. 2.52 to go here in the second period. Still 1-0 for the West Kootenai Wildcats. Passery for the Timberwolves up against Hutt here on the draw for the Wildcats. Timberwolves win that draw, and again, they play it back to the point, but right between the defense, and Kruger's going to have to head back for it. Kruger, four check there by a couple of Wildcats. Three of them in on that four check. Now they'll look for it in the corners. That one went off a leg in, ricocheted back into the Timberwolves zone. Now Timberwolves chop it out. They're in behind the defense. Passery in tight shot, saves Zamek and she covers the rebound as well. And the Wildcats come to protect the front of the crease and throw the Timberwolves player out of the way. As a good scoring opportunity there developed off the wall. And a great save by Zamek, shutting that one down. Looks like we may get a penalty call out of this one. And it looks like it is going to just be the one as the Wildcats will head to the bench, or to the penalty kill here, as a cross-checking call will go against the Wildcats on that play in front of the net. And it's going to be number 19, Brianna Reamer, sitting for two or less as they talk about it here. As they're not the Wildcats trying to find out what the uh, where the limit is. There's there been a lot of a lot of stuff happening in front of both nets here with sticks going in late and players getting pushed around. We have the Timberwolves coach seeming to have a pretty good conversation here against the uh, official. They're already getting the power play. I'm not sure what more they're looking for there. Uh, Wildcats coach is going to ask for well, what did you say down there? Didn't see much out of that one. It's been a bit of a norm here for this game so far, but if they're going to start shutting it down, that'll be one way to do it as you take one out of the pile, but unfortunately this one's going to go against the Wildcats. And the Timberwolves are going to get an opportunity here on the power play. Already 0 for 1 on the power play are the Timberwolves. But an opportunity here to even the score with 2.28 to go here in the period. So Timberwolves now on the, on the power play. That shot fanned on is a good shooting opportunity. There's Samick able to find it. Loose puck bobbling around, still no whistle. And now we get a whistle, and that's exactly what I was just talking about, is if you're going to allow that many sticks coming at the goaltender, you're not going to not have a pushback by the defenders trying to clear the front of the net. As it seems to be at every play in front of the net, there's sticks being jammed in at both goaltenders here. Most recent ones going against the Wildcats as the officials are going to talk this one over. Not sure exactly what they're talking over. There was no arm go went up on the play. I don't personally think it would be a good call to make another call coming out of that as there was definitely some late crease work happening there by the Timberwolves looking for pucks. Now it was a little bit out of our view here from the broadcast booth. Maybe it was loose to the side, but definitely sticks being jammed in towards Zamek there. And we might get one from both maybe coming out of this one, I think. 
as it looks to be 22 for the Timberwolves and four for the Wildcats. As I'm just trying to watch what they're getting here. So it looks like it's going to be cross-checking to the Wildcats and going to be slashing to the Timberwolves. As we are back underway, and I count players here, we got one, two, three, four against, no, nope, five on four still. Wildcats player goes down there in the Timberwolves zone as the Timberwolves still on the power play here with a minute 22 to go left on that power play. And they're in over the blue line. To the front of that shot, that one just off a stick and wide as Kravsky able to get a piece of that one. Now in the corner, Timberwolves play it behind the net. Kravsky settles it there, just tries to play it up the wall, but three Timberwolves below the goal line making that difficult. Now they'll try to come out the near side. Down into the corner goes the Timberwolves. Refs getting mixed up in that. Timberwolves again looking out front. Fafanoff standing there, waiting for a rebound. That one comes to the front. Zamek able to make the save. This time she'll hold on with a wall of defenders there. No one able to get a stick to that puck. And just 52 seconds left here in the power play for the Timberwolves. Johnson, it looks like on the draw here for the Timberwolves. That one goes to the wall and they didn't see it. Now they'll chip it out. A chance here for the Wildcats to skate away with it. A good uh, stick there by the Timberwolves to clear that one. Wildcats though in over the blue line. That shot wide by Shreves. Timberwolves pick it up on the far wall. 35 seconds to go on their power play and they're up over center. Johnson onside, curls up at the half wall. Takes a look, back to the point, Porter. Porter, pucks. Chipped away there by the Wildcats and not able to skate onto that as Jones did good to steal it, but no legs there to take, away, take off with it. Now the puck around the wall. Johnson into the corner for the Timberwolves. Looks out front. Sherlock's there. Plays it back. Kruger. That shot knocked down right there by Morissette. She'll get to the puck and play it out to center. Five seconds to go in the power play. 30 seconds to go in the period. Wildcats are going to kill that one off. Timberwolves now 0 for 2 on the power play. And they have possession now in their own zone. 19 seconds to go here left in the period. Play it to center. Fafanoff can't settle it. Wildcats player gets tripped up there. No arms go up on the play. Porter, her shot off the arm there. It looked like a Wildcats defender and into the far corner. Passery onto it for the Timberwolves. Time's going to run out as she looks for that wraparound and plays it to the front of the net after the whistle. Everybody's going to skate away from that one. The linesman is going to make a little mention there. That was a little late. But cooler heads will prevail, and they'll head to the bench and down the hall to the dressing rooms as we'll get a, another intermission here and an ice clean before we come back for the start of the third period. It's your West Cootley Wildcats. 1-0 leading the Williams Lake Timberwolves here from the Castle Garden District Complex. You're watching U15 Female Championship Hockey here on the Around the Rink Network. We'll throw it over for an intermission here. We'll be back for the third period. There you go, you got your, we'll have the count down there. So you got about nine and a half minutes to go grab your favorite beverage and settle back down on the couch. We'll be back for the call of the third period.
right, we're bringing you back inside the Castle Garden District Community Complex. We'll turn that up just a little bit. As we're getting set for third period action here, I just want to remind everybody that uh, I can see comments and stuff on there, so please tune in. Tell me where you're from, who you're watching, who you're cheering for. Always great to see where people are tuned in from. we got people tuning in all over the social networks from Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. As we get a one nothing game here heading into the third period for the West Kootenai Wildcats leading the Williams Lake Timberwolves. Also, it's always nice if, uh, if you happen to see there here that I'm having a really hard time with some of the names. Please, absolutely. Sometimes I can get a chance to talk to the coaches and get the uh, proper enunciations of it. If not, just write it phonetically in the, co in the comments there. We'll do the best that we can. Uh, but I want to thank everybody for, for tuning in, checking us out. Let us know what you think. Let us know where you're watching from. Um, but that's enough of me. Let's spin this camera back around here, and we will get you all set for third period action here from the Castlegar and District Community Complex. Wildcats looking to even their record at uh, one and one here in the tournament. Their next game is, uh, again, they, like I say, they played already earlier this morning at uh, 1045. So their next game, they don't play tomorrow until that late game at seven o'clock. Uh, so that will be the next game that we call here against the Richmond Ravens. So looking to go into that game with an even record here. Looking, there should be, I guess maybe those penalties ended. I thought there was still time left in both those penalties, those offsetting penalties, but uh, they're gonna let them stay at the bench. So we're gonna be back underway here as the Timberwolves now look to even the score, but they're gonna start back on their own end and it's gonna be Porter going back for it. Fresh ice here for Porter. That one just stuck, just as I say it. As soon as I said fresh ice, that puck stuck on the water and the Wildcats able to steal it, but now they lose it in that little wet spot below the goal line there. Pucks along the wall. Wildcats trying to get it as Con Cornetti plays that one out now. High slot, long shot, Moore set off the arm of the goaltender Sellers. Not sure if she even saw that one as it kind of hit her, surprised her, and went up over the top of the net. And the Timberwolves are going to get away with it as they get it out to center. Wildcats, though, will settle it there. Now play it to the near side. Con Cornetti plays that one in. She'll head off for a change. Puck goes off the back of the net, and Porter's back for it. Again, she'll step around a couple of Wildcats defenders and start skating out of the zone. Long lead pass, Katsura. Katsura in alone, shot just wide, hits the Safeway sign and out the other side as Katsura snuck in behind the Wildcats defense. Now back the other way, Wildcats trying to get away. Caught there by Swanson. She'll take a spill, but we'll get that puck out to center and just swing that one in over the blue line and send the Wildcats back for it. Passery gets a stick to it, but not enough to knock it down. The Wildcats will get it out to center. Timberwolves, Fafanoff plays it back. Now she'll get it back. She'll take a look up the center of the ice as well, and she'll lead that, feed that one up for Passery. A little too far for her, and the Wildcats will settle it down. Shreves off the wall and tipped out to center. Kruger fires it right back in, sending the Timberwolves after it. Into the corner. Johnson leaves it there. Pucks in the high slot. Kruger. She'll settle it, shot. Zamek sees it the whole way, takes it right in the crest. Holds onto that for a whistle as we've just passed two minutes here into the third period in a Wildcats 1-0 lead. Pucks down, what Timberwolves looking for it there, and they'll find it in the corner, Foffin off. Tried to go back up the wall to the defense. She'll try it again. Stop there, Passery, her shot, knocked down, goes into the corner. Now around the wall to the far side, kept in there. Wildcats though, knock it down, and they'll skate it out to center. Right in front of the Timberwolves bench, just chops that one in, and Johnson now will head back for the Timberwolves. She'll go up the wall. Left it there, shot wide of the net. There's a nice hard shot there from the point by Jones. Morissette now gets a stick to it, plays it to the front, it bounces over the stick there of Con Cornetti. And now back the other way. Fafanoff pestered from behind. That puck slides to the blue paint, just slides past the net as nobody wanted to touch it. 
Now Morissette just chips that one out as the captain of the Wildcats clears it to center. Scrambled play in front of the benches there. The Wildcats will dump it, and the Timberwolves will try to take advantage and move it up quickly. Johnson. Pass through the middle there. Knocked down by Swanson, but skated onto there by the Wildcats. And again, they'll play it out to center. Just happy to keep it out of their zone right now. Wildcats with it at the blue line now. Trying to find some room. Long shot there into the crest. Falls down into the blue paint and held onto by Sellers. As the Wildcats were able to get in and get a shot there. As Mika Konki. Concy? Concy, I think it is. Some of the names you say a lot, you get used to them. Some of them not so many times, and then you struggle with them. Here come the Timberwolves. Swanson at center. Leaves it there, McMartin. McMartin play, tried to play that one back for Swanson. Picked off there by the Wildcats, and they'll head back through center. Nice back check there by Swanson as she gets back, steals that one, leaves it at center. Katsura now, left wing. Tries to make a move to the center of the ice. Knocked away but stolen again by Katsura. She'll look for it along the wall. Down the wall into the corner. McMartin now trying to find it. Wildcats though. Shreves will get there first. Around to the other side. Kept in by Kruger. She'll walk the line. Long wrister looking for a tip. That one gets knocked down but just goes wide of the net. Katsura back out in front. Cleared by the Wildcats. McMartin back from Katsura now to McMartin. She'll play it back out in front. And once again cleared to the wall by the Wildcats. Wildcats to the blue line, not out. Long shot, Porter just about hit her own player in the head with that one. Kruger keeps it in, plays it down into the corner in the Zamboni wall. Now back up, and the Wildcats now looking to chip it out and try to get a change. This line's been out there a little while now. They'll start a change as they'll force the four check now. Timberwolves quickly through center. Fofanoff leaves it there for Sherlock. Sherlock down the left wing into the corner. Off the corner boards, back for Fofanoff. Now Sherlock turns with a chance to shoot there, but a nice play by the Wildcats to knock it away. Now Miller plays that one forward for the Wildcats out to center. Timberwolves, though, try to go quickly right back in. That one just passed Sherlock. Not enough for icing. Wildcats will go back for it. Shreves up the wall, over her stick, and out to center. Timberwolves got to go back. Hard skating after it is Huff. She's going to force the Timberwolves to come up the wall. That one goes all the way up to center. Now Passery. Passery gets some help from Sherlock. They'll play it into the corner. More set for the Wildcats will get there first. Off the wall and around the corner boards. Reimer plays it to the blue line. Kept in by the Timberwolves momentarily as a couple of Wildcats run into each other, but the puck comes out to center, and the Timberwolves will fire it right back in. 14.20 to go here in the third period. Wildcats play it to center. Timberwolves settle it down, push it forward. Puck's just sitting at center. Sticks come together and Passeri will settle it. Plays it forward. Can't find anyone on the end of that one. Now the puck will go past Harry back into the Timberwolves zone. On the four check there, Jones turns it over out in front. Shot saved there by Sellers on a point blank shot by Con Cornetti. Long wrister wide in the net into the near side corner. Chasing after it is Jones. Jones gets there, leaves it. Puck comes back to the blue line. Played down the wall by Miller. Morissette chips it forward. And now the Timberwolves will skate away with it. Passery out of her own zone with a head of speed. Passery right down the middle of the ice. Passery goes wide, shot, just put that one wide of the glove side. Off the corner boards and out the other side. Wildcats try to chip that one forward, but although they're way in there before, that's an automatic icing call with no hybrid icing here. And that faceoff will come back the other way as a good rush up the ice there by Passery almost turned into an opportunity going the other way for the Wildcats. 13-12 to go. one nothing lead for the Wildcats. Puck goes to the wall. Timberwolves try to get a stick to it to play it back to the point. It's in the feet. They'll just play it down the wall into the corner. Into the near side corner now. Wildcats trying to tie that one up. Katsura hits the official. Pounces right back to Katsura. On the backhand. Can't get that shot on. Takes a look back at the point. Wildcats shut that down. She goes back off the wall. 
Wildcats trying to find that puck to get it clear. Comes to the front of the net. Timberwolves turn, shoot. Nice save by Zamek. Kicks it to the corner. Timberwolves pressing here, trying to get the equalizer. Swanson now out of the corner. Curls, finds a shot. That one just wide of the glove side. Wildcats trying to get it out. They'll find it. They'll just shoot it down the ice. They'll take the icing call, relieve the pressure. They are allowed to change on icing calls, so they'll be able to get a swap of players here and fresh legs on the ice with 12.20 to go. And the Timberwolves pressing here, trying to get the equalizer. More set on the draw against Johnson here. Wildcats win it, play it up the wall. Can't get it past the Timberwolves defense. They'll play it back to the front of the net. Fofanoff trying to find it there in her feet. Now to get played to the corner. Now back behind the net, Fofanoff out in front, turning, firing Johnson, and the Wildcats able to get a stick to that one and shut it down as Johnson in a strong shooting position there, not able to get the shot away. Timberwolves back into the corner. On it first, Fofanoff. Again, looks out front, knocked away by the Wildcats. Pucks in the corner. Body goes down in front of the net. No arms up in the air. Puck comes to the front end as well. Shot in the glove, saved by Zamek. She's got the rebound as well. Is in tight was Sophie Passery. But Zamek with the answer with the glove and finds the rebound quickly. Eleven forty-four left here in the period. Hut against Swanson here on the draw. Wildcats will get a stick to it. They'll get it to the blue line and out. That puck's up on edge, flipping around, and it's going to go a little too hard and a little too far, and then I'll go for icing and another faceoff here to the left of Zamek as they'll do that one all over again. Goal scorer, only goal scorer of the game for the Wildcats. Once again, Maya Morissette in the second period. And that's the only marker we've got so far. Timberwolves looking for the answer. Wildcats, though, steal it away. In with it now. Reimer trying to get to the center of the ice. Nice defensive work there by the Timberwolves, all coming back and shutting that one down. Now Katsura back the other way, going back to offense. Katsura, shot, blockered into the corner. Kravsky gets there first. Puck fired around the wall. Kruger. That shot's going to go right into the glove of Zemek. She's going to hold on to that. We'll take another whistle. 11.09 to go. More set now on the draw against Fofanoff here for the Timberwolves. Wildcats win the draw. Play it up the wall to the blue line and out. And the Wildcats will try to chase after it. Morissette can't get there, but following that up is Con Cornetti. She'll play it in, but Harry will knock that one down. The Wildcats now, or sorry, the Timberwolves now will play that one into the corner. Sherlock up the wall, kept in there by the Wildcats. Long shot, that one was on net and a save there by Sellers. She'll kick that one to the corner. Wildcats trying to keep it in there, they can't. And here come the Timberwolves now through center. Herperger down the wall. Pulls up, takes a look. Someone out in front, there's the shot, and another great save there by Zamek. On that one-timer from the slot, able to get that left toe across to make the save. Wildcats out, just fire that one down the ice. We'll get another icing call. As they'll once again try to settle things down after another big save by Zamek. As the Timberwolves continue to push here, trying to get the equalizer. Gonna be Johnson now. Jarawa. She'll play it back. Pucks down the wall. Passery. Watched there by three Wildcats. And the Timberwolves will play it, but the Wildcats will get it out. A chance there for a moment for the Wildcats, but the Timberwolves are gonna come back with numbers. Able to shut that one down. The puck will go down the wall, and Passery's back for it for the Timberwolves. Skates around behind the net with speed out the other side, right past three Wildcats. Now four Wildcats, two on one are developing here. Wildcats trying to get back to protect. That one comes across in front of the paint. 
Timberwolves not able to get a stick onto it. Loose puck there, now slides to the corner, and now they'll get it. Timberwolves all the way back to Escott. Her shot wide of the net. Johnson will find it on the half wall. Spins away from the check. Johnson looks out front, finds some room. Plays it back now. Escott back down to Johnson. Timberwolves changing on the offensive zone. That backhander makes its way to the front of net. Loose puck for a second. And Zamek once again with that big glove holds on to it. 9.25 to go. Bench already seems to be getting just a little bit shorter there for the Timberwolves. Swanson now back out. Katsura as well. Puck comes to the wall. Three Wildcats looking for it. Back into the corner. They're going to try to reverse it back up the wall. Knocked down by Katsura. She'll play it behind the goal. Wildcats, though, get to it for a moment. They'll play it around the point. Kept in by Porter. Battle ensues along the wall here. The Wildcats happy to just keep it along the wall there. Morissette. She'll bring it around the wall again. Kept in by Porter. She'll make a move. Gets a little bit of space. Her shot, though, off a leg and wide off the back of the net, and the Wildcats will find it in the corner to the blue line and out as Porter now will have to come back for it in her own zone. Just inside the blue line, now back towards center. Timberwolves trying to move it forward. They got to go back to go forward. Porter, she'll try to feed that one right through the middle. That one misses everybody right onto the net, though. Wildcats back for it. Shreves, she'll play it up the wall. Concornetti leaves it there. Hut, she steps around the defender. Hut on the backhand, can't get a shot away. As a great job there by Kruger. Just tying up the Wildcats forward from getting that shot on net. Now though, the Wildcats in for it. Huff to the front of the net, knocked down on the backhand, trying to get it back to the crease. Timberwolves though, find it. To center, Swanson. Gets around the check there. She's got Foffin off out in front. Swanson, shot, glove, save Zamek. As Swanson finds some room down the right wing, gets into the shooting position, tried to go glove side past Zamek, and Keza, Keza, Kezia? Kezia. I haven't said her first name a lot, and I can't remember how it was said. Kezia, Zamek. I like Zamek. Heck of a save there with the glove. Timberwolves draw, one back to the point. Shot goes wide, rebound in behind the net now. Played over to the Zamboni door. Wildcats get there. Timberwolves, though, get a stick to it. Couple of players run into each other and both go down. Fofanoff. Herperger. Bodied off the puck. Fofanoff. Little shot towards the net. And then once again, Zamek with that glove grabs the rebound and another whistle. Wildcats just slowing things down here. 7.25 to go in the third period. Thanks, Linda. Morissette now on the draw against Fofanoff. Puck goes into the corner. Wildcats will get to it, ringing around the wall. Timberwolves able to keep it in for a moment. They're going to play it to the wall. A Sherlock with a nice move there. Skates onto it. Hits the official trying to get out of the way. Excuse me, and that'll come out to center now. Kruger plays it forward, Sherlock. Into the Wildcat zone. Back forward is Johnson, sorry, Miller, <laughs> the other 10. Now the Wildcats out through center. Loses it there, and here is Johnson. Skating away with it. With speed right around the defense. Johnson in tight backhander. That one just wide Is that one. Looked to be trying to go glove side as well, but went right across in front, out the other side. Timberwolves again. Johnson takes the shot. Blocker side just wide. She'll look for it in the corner. Jumps over her stick. The Wildcats off a shin pad and out to center. 6.30 to go in the period. Timberwolves get it to center. Jerawa plays that one in. Down the wall. Johnson can't find it. Miller will for the Wildcats. Miller tried to hit the forward on the half wall. Missed on that pass, the Timberwolves able to keep it in. Pass returns, shoots, and puts that one on goal. Zamek with the save and leaves it for the Wildcats defender. Out to center, Nash can't make a play on that. Timberwolves just put it right back in. 
And Miller will try to go hard. This time knocked down. Sherlock shot. Glove saves Zamek. There's the rebound as well. And she'll hold on to it. I'm sorry, I think that was McMartin on the shot. In tight, 5.54 to go. Swanson on the draw for the Timberwolves. Wildcats get to that and they play it out in a hard body check there by the Wildcats, Brianna Reimer. And it looks like she will head to the box again for body contact. As it will be number 19 for the Wild Con Wildcats for body contact or body checking, I guess you should say. So another power play opportunity here late in the game, 5.42 to go. Timberwolves down one nothing here. They are 0 for 2 on the power play so far. So their third opportunity here, trying to tie it up. Timberwolves with a shot there and a blocker save by Zamek. Timberwolves still with it, in behind the goal, taking a look out front. Swanson, across the top of the circle, tried to leave that one there for Passery, and that one will come out to center. Passery will go over to Porter. Porter tried to go across the middle of the ice, and the Timberwolves will get it, although it was knocked down. Swanson, in slowly, takes a look out front, it's gonna slow things down, leave it there. McMartin around the wall, far side now. Katsura plays it back down for Swanson. Swanson, watch tightly there, not a lot of room, plays it out in front, Wildcats steal it, off the wall and not out, kept in again by Porter. Around behind the net, near side here. McMartin, back to Passery, cross for Porter. Porter's long shot, glove save Samick, can't hold on to that rebound though, out the other side, Wildcats have a chance to clear and they will. set fires that one down the ice, sending Porter back for it. 40 seconds left in the power play here for the Timberwolves. Here comes Porter, through center with speed. Porter winds, fires, that one knocked down. Rebound those, sitting there in the slot. Timberwolves can't get a stick to it, they're gonna find it in the corner though. Fofanoff plays it back out in front, Wildcats do enough just to get it to the blue line. Zamek blockers that one into the corner. Kravsky plays that one up the wall. Wildcats chip that one down the ice. 14 seconds to go here in the power play and Porter's gotta go all the way back for it. 3.50 to go in the period. That one picked off nicely there by the Wildcats defender. She'll play it to the blue line off a foot up and into the bench with one second left in Reimer's penalty as she'll be heading back onto the ice here and then the Timberwolves are going to go 0 for 3 on the power play for the evening. The difference right there is the penalty kill here for the Wildcats. Maintaining this 1-0 lead here with 3.42 to go. Pucks down, penalty's over, Reimer's out of the box. Wildcats back to even strength and looking for an opportunity here to put a puck on net. Puck bounces to the paint, Reimer just had that one jump over her stick. She'll stay in the corner, shot from the point, off a pad and wide as Miller tried to put that one on. Timberwolves chip that one out again off the official's foot, and here come the Timberwolves. Johnson, shot, blocker to side, Fofanoff, rebound, can't put it back on net. Wildcats will get to it, off the wall, to the blue line, not out, Kruger kept it in. Here come the Wildcats now, out to center. Just turn that one over. Luckily for them though, Timberwolves not able to connect on that pass. And now the puck's just going back and forth possession here at center. Sherlock gets it in over the blue line. Swanson going to the front of that. There's the puck, there's the shot, goes wide off the back wall. Wildcats able to chip it out to center. That one doesn't look like it'll be enough for icing. And the Timberwolves back for it now, 2.45 to go. Quick pass up, that one off the stick of Swanson. Can't settle it, but no icing. McMartin in on the forecheck, can't get there. 
on the far wall. Timberwolves get pushed back to the blue line as the Wildcats battle there, trying to get that puck out of the zone. Morissette ties up her check. It's right there in front of the Wildcats bench, happy to make that clock tick away. 2.20 to go. Timberwolves at their own blue line. Wildcats keep it in there. Now Porter will have to go below the goal line and is watched there by the Wildcats. Morissette on the forecheck, takes it away, leaves it there. Timberwolves out of the corner, can't get a stick to it to clear it. Porter now will get to it. Off the wall to the blue line, kept in for the moment here by the Wildcats. Swanson finds it there, gets it for, through to Katsura. Katsura's got room. She's got a step. Katsura around the defense. Katsura hauled down there. No call on the play. Katsura ended up in the back of the net. Re uh, coach is not happy for that. Back the other way come the Wildcats. In comes Hutt. Shot off the crossbar. Rebound out the other side. Wildcats can't get a rebound shot in. Now Hutt plays it out in front. Knocked down by Porter. She's going to slow it down. Go behind the net. Around the wall. Wildcats though. Smartly, Miller jumps down to keep that one in for a second. Now she's got to get back. Swanson, Passeri, Katsura, that puck across in front. Down goes the Timberwolves player. The, no stick to the puck there. Wildcats get it out. Goaltender is out for the Timberwolves. Extra attacker is on, trying for a push with a minute to go here. Wildcats play it to center. Kruger back for the Timberwolves. Watch there by Huff. Huff on the four-track. Timberwolves get it up the half wall, get it to the blue line, and out. Johnson, though, loses it. Kruger's got to go back for it. 47 seconds to go. Kruger hard up for Passery. Passery down the wing. Shot. Zamek's got it. Somewhere falls down. Not quite sure where that puck is. Neither was she. And it's right there against the side of the net. As Zamek with 38.7 seconds left got tested there off the wall and came up with a save. Gonna get a timeout here. 38.7 seconds left here in the third period and a 1 0 lead for the Wildcats as the Timberwolves are gonna call their timeout. Faceoff will be in the left face-off dot, so to the right of Zamek. We'll see who comes out. Big draw here for the Wildcats. As the horn goes, that's the end of the timeout. We'll get these teams to head back to the face-off dot. Final instructions are given for the Timberwolves. Jahardi, Passery, Johnson, Fafanov, Kramer, or Kruger, sorry, Kramer, and McMartin. Wildcats trying to get that puck, comes to the blue line. Kruger, shot, knocked down. Wildcats trying to get a stick to it, trying to clear it. They will, out to center. Wildcats take a shot at the empty net just wide. That was from the wrong side of center. That will be an icing call with 26 seconds left on the clock. And another offensive zone faceoff here for the Timberwolves. Biggest play in the empty net. You got to get the red line. Just missed it by about a foot there. It's going to be Johnson and Morissette now on the draw. Morissette plays it back into the corner. 20 seconds on the clock here. Johnson for the Timberwolves. Gets off the wall. Can't get to the front of the net though. Puck slides to the side. Wildcats put it back into the corner. Morissette happy to just hold it there for 10 seconds left on the clock. Not sure they're going to get that much time. Puck comes loose on the backhand. Can't clear. Looking for it. Timberwolves turn. Passery wide and that's it. Wildcats take this one. One to nothing. And a big victory here in back, back, bounce back game for the Wildcats defeating the Williams Lake Timberwolves in the final game of the opening day here at the U15 Female Championship. What a game. That was just our first one for us anyway for calling it. We got plenty more to go as these teams will 
shake hands prior to heading off. Timberwolves did everything they could there at the end, pulled the goaltender, continued to push, just not able to get anything substantial directed towards Zamek. And when they did, she had the answer. Puts up the big donut on the this scoreboard. Lots of shutouts here in this first day. I believe the first three games ended in shutouts. Second, or the fourth game, I think, can't remember what the score was. Last one was a couple of goals each. And now this one, a one nothing game. So some great goaltending here on the first day of the tournament, as should be expected with some of the best, or yeah, some of the best U15 teams in the entire province gathered here in Castlegar. So I want to thank you once again for tuning in all over the Around the Rink network on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, and joining us here from Castlegar for the U15 Female Championships. Our coverage will continue again tomorrow. We'll have the Wildcats and the Richmond Ravens here on the broadcast. That game starting at 7 o'clock. Uh, tonight was, I believe, a 7.30 start, so a little bit earlier start tomorrow. But we'll be on the air just before that um, to get things fired up for you here for the Wildcats' third game of the tournament. Now one and one and looking to make some moves here. Two more games to go and a chance to push their way into a semifinal game come Sunday. But uh, that'll be it for us tonight. I want to thank you from tune for tuning in no matter where you tuned in from. Hopefully I didn't uh, didn't have too hard of a time with a few of those last names. We'll, uh, we'll see if we get any better tomorrow. Um, as we'll have our second game of the Wildcats and uh, we'll just hopefully have to learn the names of the Ravens tomorrow. That's going to do it for us here uh, at the Castle Garden District Complex. Again, my name is Rob Squires. Thank you for joining me here on the Around the Rink Network and uh, we will see you tomorrow night, 7 p.m., live from the Castle Garden District Community Complex U15 Female Championship Tournament here in Castle Garden. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow.